I'm Naomi from Jasmine Pottery Studios. Today I'm going to show you how to make a sorting hat lantern with one of our clay at home pottery kits. So before we begin, you're going to need some clay, two sculpting tools, a loop tool, a paintbrush, a circle template, a rolling pin and some slip which is just like clay glue. Firstly we're going to make the base of the hat so if you just want to cut a small amount of your clay and then we're going to get your rolling pin and just give it a roll so keep turning it as you roll so you want to just keep testing whether it's going to be big enough so you want to be able to get enough clay to go all the way around. So once you're happy with your template and it fits on your clay, you're just going to take your tool and just cut as close as you can to your template. And then you just want to gently peel your template off. So next we're going to make the main part of the hat. So just take your clay and we're just going to start manipulating it into a cone shape. So you can hit it with the palm of your hand here and just keep turning it. So if you've got really small hands, you might want to ask an adult to help you with this part. And you can start rolling it so it goes nice and round. We're going to make it into a cone. So you can hit the base of it as well to get it nice and flat. You want the top of it to be nice and long into a point. So you can just roll it. Now the next step, we need to hollow out the inside of the hat. So we're going to turn it upside down and we're just going to mark out a circle underneath with your loop tool. So you just want to be careful not to go too close to the edge. So you want a bit of a gap all the way around. I'm just going to start scooping the inside out. And this is just important to help it to dry so it dries nice and evenly and if you do decide to put it in a kiln then it needs to be hollowed out so it doesn't explode in the kiln So once you've got about halfway up your hat with your, with your loop tool, scooping it out. So this is where we're going to put the candle in to make the lantern. So you just want to reach inside with your thumb and just start smoothing it out. So if you've got little thumbs as well, you might want to ask an adult to help you. Or you can also use your tool to just get in there and smooth out any big marks. Once you've smoothed it out, we're just gonna do what's called a pinch pot technique, just to widen the hat a little bit. So you get your thumb and your finger and you're just going to pinch and slowly turn the hat and you'll feel the clay start to open up. So it's really important just to keep turning as you do this and it'll just slightly widen the base of your hat. So just be careful not to go too thin around the edges.
Right, so once you've opened it up a little bit, you can test how it's going to fit on your base. And if you do want to take any more out from the top, you can just scoop, scoop some more in as well. I'm just going to show you inside my hat and what it looks like. So nice and smooth, big bit. So this is where we're going to put the lantern inside. Okay, so the sorting hat, he's not just straight like this. So we're going to start manipulating it and bending it a little bit. I'm going to give him a bit of a crooked top just by pushing it with my fingers. So your clay should be nice and wet at this point so quite easy to do this with. If it's a bit dry you can spray it with some water. Right so next we're going to start by making a hole where the eyes are so I'm just going to mark out where I want the eyes to go so you want to make sure that your eyes are going to be where you've scooped out the middle because they're the bits that are going to glow up when you put your lantern inside So I've marked them out and then I'm just going to cut all the way through. So once you're happy with where your eyes are going to go, you're going to start making the big eyebrow so you can take your clay that you had left from when you scooped it out I'm just going to break a little bit off and roll some coils so once you've rolled your coil I'm just going to mark out where you want the eyebrows to go so you're going to do something that's called scarring or I call it itchy scratchy. It's just creating a rough surface on the clay which helps pieces join together a bit better. So then we're going to use our clay glue which is called slip and this is just a clay water mixture. So I'm just paint this on. Any excess we can just break off. So you can use the bottom of your tool to help to stick it on. Once you've got his eyebrow on, next we're going to make a bit around his eyes. So you can if you've got some of your coil left, you can use that or you can roll some more out of your leftover clay. I'm just going to roll this one a bit thinner because you're going to just don't want it to be as wide around his eyes. So we're just going to test it, see if it's big enough, and then repeat the same step as before, doing the scratchy lines around the eyes. and then painting on your slip and then just cutting off any excess so I'm just going to repeat that with the next eye
continuing to use your clay that was left over from scooping out we're gonna roll another coil so a bit thicker this time that's gonna be for his lips so when you roll in a coil you just want to start from the top of your fingers and go all the way down So once you're happy with your coil, we're going to mark out where we want it to go. So again, doing your scratchy scoring lines. Paint on your slip. And then again, you can just join it with your tool. and then smooth it with your finger. So we can use a bit of a coil for the bottom. So you might want to make that one a bit thicker. And then just mark it out where you want it to go. And do your scratchy marks. Okay, so once you're happy with your lips, so you want them to be nice and wide, coming right, aclo right across, then you can move on to the back. So if your clay is still quite wet, you might want to let it harden a little bit so you don't keep knocking the shape of it. So for the back, I'm just gonna add lots of coils and crinkles. So you can see here that this, his lips are made up of the crinkles of the hat. So I'm just gonna turn it round and continue that on the back. Again, just marking it out with your tool. And don't forget to do your scratchy and glue. just gonna push into the clay with my fingers to create some exaggerated creases and lines into the hat you can also use your tools if you choose I just find it easier with my fingers with how your sorting hat looks we're gonna add the base so you have to take your base lay it flat check that your hat fits on there so if you want to make it a little bit wider you can just Roll it. You just want to make sure not to go too thin. So I'm a bit happy with that. So I'm just going to place my hat in the centre. And then just mark out where it's going to fit. Scratch it. 
And then I'm just going to cut out a hole on the inside. And this is where we're going to put the tea light inside. And once you've marked out where it's going to stick, I'm just going to turn it upside down and we're just going to do the same scoring on the base as well. And then we're just going to add your slip to the base and to here as well. I'm just going to join the bottom. So I always like to add a little coil on any major joins. So just using some of your leftover clay, just rolling it out. And then just smoothing it with your fingers just to make sure there's no big join marks there. So once you're happy with the base of your hat, I'm just going to start pulling parts of the hat up just to accentuate the movement of the sorting hat. turn your hat upside down you just want to make sure that join inside is nice and smooth too And there you go, your own step-by-step -step guide to making a lantern sorting hat. I really hope you've enjoyed our video today. Our kits are available to buy online from our Etsy store. And if you've enjoyed this project, we have lots more on our YouTube channel. So don't forget to like and subscribe.